Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today we're having our trunk coffee and uh, working on a project for the shop. <coughs> and I'll try to go over what, why I'm doing this and basically just doing an upgrade. Let me put my chump coffee away and we'll get right to it. For starters, I had made this bracket here that mounts on the ceiling. And then you got a pulley here and I had a winch mounted to the wall over in the other building. And it was basically in this orientation, I had it mounted in, on the ceiling and the winch on the wall and it come over, cable come down and I used this to hang my deer. And then I made this. Now it's a little long, this one's for big deer. Uh, I need to make a second one, it's only about that long, where my thumb's at here. And uh, that way we'll have two different attachments. And still got hide on it from the last year. <laughs> but, um, I, we used this one last year, but when you got smaller deer, you couldn't hardly get them spread far enough to get them hooked. So we decided that we're going to make a shorter one. But anyway, I'll pan you down here and we'll show you what we got going on. Alright, so what we have here is a bed frame. This is a complete bed frame. You have the long one that we're going to use for the tracks. Uh, and then you have the, the two folded out ones that folds out and connects to both together. And I use those to weld to it. And this here is going to be the part that mounts to the ceiling. And then I just welded it all up. And I offset it so that I had enough height for my bearing. All right. So we got a left and a right. All right, these are going to be the uh, bolts that came out of a. Um, now this bed frame came. It was here when I moved here, so I just kept it for a future project, and here it is. Uh, these bolts here. Uh, they were in a trailer that I was I was thinking about restoring that I had gotten in a deal, and. Uh, I ended up giving it away, but before I did, I took all the boards off of it, and it had tuba sixes on it, and these were the bolts that was in it, and I, they're in pretty rough shape, but they're good enough to work for this, since it's going to be indoors. So we got six of those, all right? You see, they're even bent. <laughs> all right, then we've got two all thread, three-eighths, and this is what's going to keep the trolley from coming off the track. The bearing will hit this before it comes off, and it also helps you to keep it straight while you're putting it up. So that got two of those. All right, then we've got four bearings, and then I made this plate here, and I turned these off on a on the lathe. Uh, buddy of mine, Dale, he brought over some um, drill rods that was, I think they were drill rods for uh, he uh, drilled water wells, and he don't do it no more. And he just had that scrap laying around, and I just turned it down and made it so that the bearings would go on the end of it. So, and you don't, they're just going to slide on there. They're not even, they're not tight. 
they're it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be and because we're going to mount this to the ceiling this that's what this does also it adjusts it so that it's these here are wide enough that they ride right beside these so the uh, plate the steel plate this came from Jim the guy who gave me my four-wheeler thank you very much Dale and Jim all right then we've got a 1500 pound four-wheeler winch that this is the one I've been using and it's a little loud I'd rather use that other one because it's quieter but uh, this one's already set up it's got the spring thing on it that keeps this here straight the cable straight so it doesn't get all tangled up and that one don't have one I don't know if I can change it or not if I can I'll probably take this off of this motor or winch and use this one because this one's a lot quieter this one's in a little rougher shape but we'll see if, I, if that's the case this one's got some issues it's got a busted out place there there's some pros and cons for both of them but for no more than I'm going to be using it it really doesn't matter and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, then I'm going to figure out, I'm going to have to figure out a way to make it uh, powered with the battery. And we'll probably have to mount the battery up in the roof and have a cable that's on kind of a spring so that it kind of walks along with it. We don't know how it's going to work. Maybe a screen door spring or some, something really flimsy. Uh, even a flimsy wore out bungee cord would work or something. We'll figure something out. And uh, we're just making this so that it slides back and forth. So basically it's going to look like... We'll just go ahead and put this thing together real quick and go from there. Now, you can use them in tre or, uh, all thread to adjust this for tightness. So if you don't want this thing to go real fast, you know, or be too loose, you can just tighten them up so that they, you know, adjust the nuts to where it just barely hits the side of it, so it kind of hits and holds it so it doesn't move but or you know faster but I'm going to leave it just like that right there all right so it may change because this year might twist I don't know uh, I would like to make it loose simply because when that goes to when we mount that to the two befores it might shift and twist on us and then once it twists, there's no adjustments left because once you bolt them up, see, I got to use this bolt hole and one of these here lined right up so I didn't have to drill a hole there because I'm going to tell you, it's this uh, bed frame, it sure is hard to drill through it. I dull every bit I get every time I drill into uh, bed frame. So, uh, to test that, an easy way to do that is I got just the thing right here just to test that. 
I could take and set that right on there, clamp it to uh, mimic the uh, two befores. I think it'll be all right because it's pretty flat right there and flat right there. Once we tighten up the all thread, I think we're good. So uh, I'll go ahead and tighten them up and we will get started on installing it into the ceiling. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So I've got them tightened up and I gotta check it for squareness here real quick before we get started. Make sure this thing's square. I got, I'm good. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do, and this is how you do things when you don't have nobody to help you. So basically what we're gonna do is you, we're gonna use this strap and we're gonna hook it to the bottom of this thing. Drape that up over there. So now we get to put our plate in there and that's going to be pretty simple just take and put it up in there set it up in there and come on top put two bearings on one side on the other side put two bearings on that side And there it is. Tied it all the way. Just like so. And it ain't coming off. So it'll go all the way to both ends. And stop. So now we get to mount our winch. On it and hope that I don't have to put shims in it. I may have to, I don't know.
either that or take the plate over in the mill and uh, make the holes oblong instead of uh, round so that it has a slot instead of a hole. But we'll see. Let's just hope that I don't have to because I'm afraid it's going to hit the frame. My God, I couldn't get any more luckier. Use my head here to hold it up while I put the nut on it. All right. My God, I couldn't have got any luckier. <laughs> That's luck. That was luck. Really was. So let me tighten that up. Yeah, I just eyeballed that. I didn't actually measure that, so I got lucky. <laughs> My God, that'll work. So now we can uh, move this ladder out of the way. And there we have it. So let's say for instance, uh, I want to pull a motor right here off of a lawnmower. I can pull the motor and then I can move it over here out of the way, bring my cart over here, set it down on the concrete block that's on the cart, let it down on the cart, move the cart out of the way, and there we got it. I'm also working on a uh, turnstile. Let me uh, get you all straightened up here and put you on the other tripod. That, this one here is too heavy. Now, this end here is not attached to anything. So basically what I'm gonna have to do is run me a two before on top of it all the way across and put screws on each end of it. Now, I'm, that's never gonna be an issue. I could probably hang on that thing right now. So why don't we just put that for a test? Let's just go ahead and test that right now. There I am. And I'm bouncing. It ain't going nowhere. Now the only other thing that I will have to do is on all these plates that they put in here. I gotta put two screws on each each two before. So each one of them plates will get four screws. I don't know why they didn't screw them, but they should have. So we're going to screw every one of them in. Really don't need to do all of them, just the ones that this year's on. So here's my system. I'm getting ready to blind you. And then it hits the, uh, bring you up here and let you look. And you see how lucky I got? Look how close that is. And you know what? That'll help keep it straight. <laughs> now, as soon as I find some more bed frame, I'm going to continue it. Because all I have to do is just weld it to this one or really wouldn't have to weld it just put a bolt in it and be done with it and uh 
then I'll just make it go on down to the next next two so it would be sweet if we had it going in this direction too but oh well I ain't getting all that fancy but uh, I'm also working on something else here a uh, turnstile I don't remember where I got this but it was in a scrap Oh, I know what I got it off of. I got it off of a uh, uh, swiveled um, recliner. And uh, I'm going to mount this to it because this is the same size as the shaft. This is what comes off of them uh, bottom of the motors. It's got a 7 8 shaft. So... I get tired of that bending over to work on them, so I'm going to mount this here. I'm going to figure out a way to mount this here because I wanted to be able to remove it just in case uh, I get a shaft that has inch and an eighth. So I want to make keep this as an option to where I can change it out. So I'm going to make a uh, thing for that, but that's going to be another video. But... Uh, there's my winch. Now, all I gotta do is wire it up. And I haven't figured out how I wanna do it yet. I gotta still gather up all my wiring. For now, I'm just gonna hang the cable, or the uh, yeah, cable up on that end over there and uh, start gathering up all the uh, wiring. And we'll do that in another video. So that, that'll end this part of the uh, overhead overhead crane winch crane whatever and uh, this is going to be a nice shot uh, let me, while I'm here let me show you some of the benches that I made now Keep in mind, it's uh, in progress. It's in uh, work, in, work in progress. Uh, got my breaker box over there. Got my trash can there. We just got this heater. It's natural gas. And I don't have no natural gas right now. Um, the line got filled with water. So I don't have no heat. I have no way to... Uh, heat my water or hot water heater or well yeah water heater not hot water heater somebody will say something about that um, I don't have no hot water and no way to take a shower except for to take a bitch bath so um, that's uh, kind of got me pissed off and I'll probably be without it for a long time. And it's, it's starting to get a little chilly here. But anyway, uh, got the natural gas. It's free gas if it ever gets back on. And I'll just run a line from it over into the other building where I used to have the, uh, where I was going to make a slaughterhouse. But um, then we got our uh, hook here. So basically I can just bring this over here, hook it, and pull it up, and then I got to get me a big drip pan, which I'm thinking about a uh, uh, one of them great old big uh, oval wash tubs. I built some benches there, and got. I'm, I'm working on organization right now, trying to get everything organized. Uh, this is where I mostly spend my time, so I said, well, since that's a machine shop over there, I really don't need all these tools over there. I need them over here. So I'm working on getting my tools over here. And uh, then I built that bench, and the guy that traded me that Cub Cadet right there for my zero turn that was given to me that didn't have a motor on it. He gave me all this stuff right here. Two big old rolls of this heavy stuff. 
and I got a black roll that is yellow on one side and black on the other. And I just covered my benches with it. And I got one little one over here, and then I got the main bench over there. I want the main bench over here simply because right here's my window so I can see my driveway. And then I got my shelves, which is cluttered with everything. And uh, oh, I forgot to turn my coffee warmer on. Mr. Trump coffee is getting cold. And then I put a stereo in, a car stereo, that I got off my son. And it's got a remote control. And the shop is wired with 12 volt. Just like the uh, machine shop. Got my big speakers on each side. LED lights. And I'm probably going to move that LED light and recess it also just like I did this one. I had to recess this one because of this, uh, uh, because of the, uh, winch that I was putting in. So, that'll work, guys. We're getting there. Eventually, I'm going to have my bison logo that I've made right up there in the, above the radio. One day. I kind of like it where it's at, but. I'm not going to make another one. <laughs> that thing was too hard to make. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Please, guys, play nice. I get tired of taking breaks. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Later.